the best thing about that lake. Please go to Cashier 2. It's home! One more here. Best thing about Batley, it's the, uh, the people, the community, the community spirit is quite high here and when it comes to a charity, hands in the pocket and they tend to give, especially in uh, our holy month of Ramadan, people tend to give a lot of money to charity, which, uh, like I said, is, Batley is like a family and they all stick together. We came to live in Batley in 1990 from Dewsbury and, and we love it. Mm, I, I want to go back to Dewsbury. I love Batley. Well, the people are friendly and, you know, people say good morning, hello, hi, whatever, even if you don't know them. You know, they are friendly, at people at Batley. Park Delhi at Batley Park. Um, all different communities getting together, I suppose. That, I'd say that's probably a good thing there. Everybody getting together, all different ethnic minorities and everyone just joining together as a group, I suppose. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. It's the best town in the world. One thing I would change in uh, the Batley is if I could have more neighbourhood policing. More shops. It's too quiet, you know. It's like a little ghost town. It could do with more entertainment going on. You know, a few more, a few more shops and stuff would be better. The politicians. Get the council out. Get somebody in who really gives the monkeys about this area. Because they don't. They only care about the uh, the major parts of it, you know, like Murfield and uh, Huddersfield, as I've said before. That's all they care about, not around here. Oh, change one thing about Batley. I think we're deprived in uh, in employment. I think uh, employment is something which is lacking in this area. The government needs to take more attention. All our money seems to be going to Huddersfield, and I think we need to bring something to the North Kirk, please. Um, in Batley, where the town centre is, where there's nothing there, make it in a, a place where it's fun and children can play. The fun park, like a park. That market down there, Mazdeca. Oh, that's it. <laughs> my favourite place is, uh, especially dinner time when I come, my favourite place is Howard's Chippies. I think that's a beautiful chips that they do there. On fish. There's the uh, red brick at the bottom on Bradford Road, and uh, that's a really lovely place, is that? Batley means home to me. Um, went to the high school in Batley, born and bred in Batley, lived in Batley all my life. So uh, that's a very short and simple and sweet answer to your question. All in all, could be worse. Could be worse. Could be worse. Yes. Because I mean, well, I have a son who lives in Birmingham, and I know what Birmingham's like, so Batley's a, a, a little rural outpost compared, comparatively. Yeah. yeah. Batley Hay Day for me was the variety club days, where the world's top stars play. Came from all over the world, mainly America, and Britain, Shirley Bassey. Came a lot. Louis Armstrong, Gene Pitney. Seemed to be in every other week, did Gene Pitney. One of the councillors from Batley said, let's make the park more interesting. Let's get a dozen gondolas and put it on the lake. So there was this, nay, let's, let's save for eight pairs of brass. Let's buy two and breed a own. Hi, my name's Paul Addison. I'm the general manager of Batley Bulldogs Rugby Club. I would like to nominate Glenn Tomlinson as the most famous person in Batley. Glenn scored 125, 124 tries in his time at Batley. Uh, he left the club halfway through his career and went on to Super League, where he played at Bradford, Wakefield, and then went on to Wool uh, before returning to break the record of 124 tries. Fantastical. Well, it's lovely. I wouldn't leave it unless I have to do. <laughs>